the doctors, nurses, and support staff at St. Luke's Hospital request that Lucas County mark us out of service, closed to the public. With that one last emotional call, St. Luke's Hospital signed off and shut its doors one last time. The facility has served our community since 1906 and employed hundreds of people. Well, now the future of St. Luke's is unclear as Mercy Health finalized the deal to buy the property today. So what is next and what about the people who relied on that community hospital? Kaylee Kirby joins us in Maumee. So Kaylee, you're getting some answers tonight. Yeah, Jeff, there are plenty of unanswered questions from people in the community right here in Maumee. About 40 of them showed up to a meeting earlier this evening and a lot of them wanting to get answers on one. What will happen to their insurance? They want to know about that, but they also want to know what's going to happen with the St. Luke's campus right here in Maumee. It's the end of an era. I've had uh, open heart surgery there. I had a broken leg fixed there and a few other things along the way. And the start of a new one for Mercy Health. The company purchased St. Luke's Hospital building, equipment and properties. But the takeover means changes for anyone who has stepped foot in St. Luke's. This is a privilege that we don't take lightly and we want the community to know at the very highest level of the organization, we are totally committed to helping make sure that their needs are met. We're ready and we're prepared. Uh, and hope we can earn their trust. Leaders at Mercy say the goal is to offer a seamless transition for employees, providers, and patients. So far, the company has hired more than 400 people from St. Luke's, including area doctors. We are fortunately blessed. I'm with a group of family physicians in Waterville. All seven of us are staying together. We're staying in the same building. Fortunately, Mercy has accommodated that for us. Mercy is also keeping the physical therapy department, lab services, and the cardiac rehab program. But they have no plans to reopen St. Luke's as a hospital. While some community members are happy they don't have to look for new providers, the closure is not what they wanted to happen. I think Waterville and, and the western areas west of Waterville are going to really miss it. To be clear, Mercy has no intentions of reopening St. Luke's as a hospital. They said earlier tonight from leaders, it is just not cost effective to do that. Now they do have this building, so it is possible it could reopen as something else. What is it? They don't know yet. Reporting live in Maumee, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.